This is Samantha. She's going to demonstrate how cell metabolism works during exercise. After eating a granola bar, her food is broken down, releasing energy used to make ATP. Glucose from the bar is converted into pyruvic acid in a process called glycolysis. Samantha is about to go on a run. Right now, she's using aerobic respiration. During aerobic respiration, pyruvic acid and oxygen enter the mitochondria and go through a series of reactions called the citric acid cycle and the electron transport chain. These reactions produce carbon dioxide, water, and up to 38 ATP. After running intensely, Samantha's body needs more ATP, but aerobic respiration cannot produce it fast enough. So, she goes through anaerobic respiration to produce the additional ATP. Anaerobic respiration occurs without oxygen. Pyruvic acid is converted to lactic acid and only two ATP are produced. Although anaerobic respiration does not produce as much ATP, it helps cells to continue to function when oxygen levels are low. Through the process of cell metabolism, Samantha's cells could function properly during her intense run. Whew, what a workout.